Welcome back, awesome Asteroid fans and subscribers. I'm reviewing this another G.I. Joe today, G.I. Joe Zombie Vipers. I've actually got three sets of these, but I haven't opened any of them. I'm going to open this one for you guys now, give you my views and opinions. I've got three sets because I really like the look, and I've seen some people do dioramas and pictures online. They look great too, so I thought, you know what, I like a, a couple of sets of those. I'm to get three sets here in China. On the back, so the G.I. Joe team is ready for action and adventure, and they match their skills against the evil Cobra organization. And some mirror drawings of the zombie vipers on the back. Um, they do look nice with the masks and the tentacle arm attachments, I guess. And I'm not sure what those blue things are there, but I guess I'll see in a minute. Uh, let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so... There we go. So you have cards inside. File name various primary military specialty infantry, second military specialty viral sabotage, birthplace various. Zombie fibers are Cobra infantry troopers who have been given a mysterious chemical substance, compound Z, that has turned them into drones. Wiped of all thought, they follow orders mindlessly and cannot be reasoned with or sidetracked. They have retained their skill in combat, in fact their desire to fight has been increased, making them more dangerous than before. In other words, they are deadly zombie warriors. Okay, and there's a few cards in there, so I imagine that will be the different languages. So the tentacle arms, a couple of bases, I will take the cards off there too. Okay. Let's have a look at these arms first of all. Yeah, they are pretty decent and gnarly and they're long as well, which is nice. With almost like squid sucker pads on the end, that's cool. Um, I'm not sure what these blue parts are. Is that the uh, chemical Z maybe? I'm not sure. Is there a picture showing that? I don't think there is. Nope, okay. Pop the mask out. Pop the zombie fighter out and the other one out. Okay, so let's have a look. Mask goes on really easily and very effectively. Ah, this could be for this then to go in the back, maybe. Okay, that works out. I wanted that as well. Uh, they look pretty damn good. Very, very atmospheric. You can keep them as they are, or you could repaint them if you want to get a different zombie look. Though toes are really gnarly as well. Um, I'm assuming that this will go from where? It can't go from the wrist, can it? It'd be too big. Okay, I'm not sure where this pops out from. I'm going to assume maybe from the arm, but I don't want to heat it up and pop it out just yet and stick it in and find out that I was wrong. Um, These are very nice looking figures. The sculpt is great. The look is great. They're very atmospheric in their look. Um, perhaps difficult to stand up, but I will have a look in a second. Uh, head will look right and left. Uh, minimal side to side and minimal up and down. Shoulders. Uh, he gets better than average on one, average on the other. Arm bend 90 degrees, which is good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Hips, yeah, he's a Taekwondo zombie, really good. Um, is there a waist? There is a waist as well, but no forwards backwards. Double knee bend. If I can get the bottom part to bend separately. Oh. There we go. So he gets very tight on his legs, good for posing. And ankles, he has side to side, no swivel, and he has up. And down but that's very small how easy to stand up easy enough uh, and you can turn his ankles as well he's a nice looking figure I do like that very menacing and, and quite scary looking um, so maybe one of you guys who knows would like to oh, maybe it comes up from there okay I see aha uh -huh. now I know how they could put it on there we go Well, that, <laughs> that is really quite atmospheric. 
Very, very nice, very menacing, and it's really got a good zombie vibe about it with that extra sort of length added by the limb there. Okay, I can see people buying these just to get these little arm parts as well if you're into customising, but why would you butcher the figure? A nice figure for this, I don't know, but... I think that's on. Nope, it's not on. All right, I'll put that on again a bit later, maybe. Okay. Okay, it's not on again yet. I'll do that a bit later. That was on. Never mind. Um, I do like these. They are nice. I have to heat that push on properly. They are nice looking figures. Uh, the other one, is there any difference or are they just the same? Let's have a look. Yeah, they are the same, but I'm not complaining. Getting two or six, I've got three boxes, is nice for a zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse, even. These are great figures, worth getting a few if you haven't got any already, or at least getting one set of two. Uh, for your zombie dioramas, or for customising, or if you're into GI Joe, obviously, for your zombie viper army they are nice i do like these guys a lot i'm glad i got three boxes of them all right let's stand this guy up here and i'll just do this one first and in fact you get these nice helmets which you can use for customizing on other figures as well almost for spacemen is really really good as well if you're a customizer Great figures, great accessories with these uh, long bleh, tentacle arms and these backpack parts. I'm not sure where that wire thing goes into. Does it go into the helmet somewhere? Into the head, maybe? Is that a hole there? No, it's not. Uh, but, aha, uh -huh, on the back of the head, maybe. Let's have a look. Okay, now I see. So that can go in his back here. And that can go into there. And that's making him into more of a zombie. Uh, or you could paint that as an oxygen tank if you wanted to. Really, really nice. Uh, good job, Hasbro. Good job, Hasbro. Not often I say that. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.